What is going on guys? My name is Kelly and welcome to battle number three of the Battle Hub League. Um, today's opponent is Asteroid Desu and guys we really need to get off the mark here because uh, yeah we've got no points. We've lost our first two battles and yeah things are going to change this time. So anyway let's have a look at what teams we are bringing. Well I'm bringing um, a very special team. Um, it kind of revolves around um, Carbink, and this Carbink is not like any other Carbink, uh, as you will soon see. So my opponent is actually bringing a very interesting Sun team. Uh, um, they also pack Haxorus, Inteleon, and uh, Glaceon, um, but I am really scared of that Venusaur and um, and the Leafeon. Because, you know, in the sun, they, they, they are just hard to contend with. In fact, all the, all the, the team is very scary. So I'm going to be leading off with the Carbink. And before we get into this battle, we are going to plug the Battle Hub Discord server. i link to that in the description below. And give us a follow on Twitter whilst you're at it. And so you can see what preview thumbnails I'm going to be doing for upcoming um, videos. So anyway, I'm going to be leading off with my Carbink. Um, as you can see from the item, it is holding. It is holding the Venus pose. So yeah, we are a f we are a uh, sweeping carbink, and um, we will explain as the battle goes on. So um, we would like to say have fun to um, asteroid, but I really do need to win here because I, I don't want to go into my own my own creation three losses down. It's not going to happen. So he's going to be leading off with the um, Nine Tails to get the sun up. I'm going to be leading off with my Carbink, like I said. So in comes the Drought, and yeah, this Carbink is actually a Rock Polish set. We also pack um, Power Gem, Moon Blast, and Earth Power. And because we've got Weakness Policy and we have the ability Sturdy, so we are guaranteed to get off at least at least one one Rock Polish. So they are going to withdraw because they can't really do anything to a carbink in, and uh, they are going to uh, switch into a uh, Leafeon which is okay that's fine. We we'll get one rock polish up but no. Uh, because carbink is so slow we need two rock polishes to even outspeed um, Leafeon and the Venusaur and any potential choice scarfers they might have in, the, in that team. So he's going to go for a source dance which I think was very interesting. Uh, but we're going to go for another rock polish and next turn we are going to our speed. So we are going to hit the power gem because it's stab. And um, yeah, it was just, you know, that's a two hit KO on a uh, Leafeon. So in comes the solar blade, which is, well, it's usually a two turn move, but because the sun is up, it's going to be made into a one turn move. So in comes the solar blade, but we are going to tank that because we have sturdy, and it's going to proc our weakness pulses. So we are now plus two in special attack. So yeah, this carbon is actually very dangerous now towards um, asteroid, and he's probably thinking right now he has just set up two rock polishes and and I've set off his weakness policy. I I am in deep shit. He is actually panicking right now. Um, and I think he's got no other choice but to sack this Leafeon. And which he does. So Power Gem will take out this Leafeon. So that's one pork down. And um, me and Ashley were talking after the end of this battle. And he actually said, he did actually say that uh, he was actually panicking when he saw what just happened. So he sends out his Haxorus. And he actually told me that this Haxorus is actually choice scarfed. Um, but because I've got two rock polishes up, I am going to easily outspeed this Haxorus. And uh, we're just going to hit the Moon Blast. And as you can see, guys, we absolutely obliterate this, Haxor this Haxorus. So now, guys, you have seen it here first. You saw a Carbink one shot a Haxorus. It can be done if done correctly. So, right. There are obviously drawbacks to this Carbink because it's, you know, it's not really an attacking mon so even though we are plus two uh, we really can't really one shot at any bulky pokemon like Venusaur and all that but we know what we're, we're going to go down fighting here so we're going to get his power gem off and that's a clear two hit KO so in comes the solar beam 
You know, carving did its work. It took out two mons. I'm happy. I'm really happy. But right now, this thing is always a bit of an issue now with this sun still up. Um, yeah, that critical hit did not matter. Um, so carbon goes down. It did work. So we now see that this Venusaur is now life orb. So I'm looking at my team. I'm thinking, well, Blastoise is not an option. Can't well, Zapdos could be an option, but um, you know what? Garbodor doesn't really do anything for me in this battle, so I'm just going to bring it in there just to be sacked off, really. Um, I kind of stalling out the sun and hoping this Venusaur will go down to its own life orb. That's that's my plan. So. Do I go for corrosive gas or do I set up some spikes? I think we'll, we'll set up some spikes. So, yeah, you've seen this garbage door before, guys. It's special defensive. Corrosive gas, spikes, uh, gunk shot, and pain split. We have black sludge as the item of choice. And we are going to take this earth power pretty damn well. That's a 2 hit KO, but it is what it is. That's life orb damage going down for the Venusaur. So that spikes. Going up on this side of the field, so I think I can take another um, Earth Power. So I'm going to Pain Split, uh, but no, he does not go for the Earth Power. He actually goes for the Weather Ball, which obviously turns into a Fire Type move, and Astro gets to crit and takes out my Garbord. Or did it? Did the crit matter? I don't really know. It probably did, but you know what? We're two for two. Uh, it, his Venusaur goes down to life orb. The sunlight is faded. Uh, I'm, I'm in a pretty good position right now, so I don't actually know what to switch out to. So maybe clay doll. Yeah, clay doll. See what see what he brings in. So he brings in the nine tails again. So obviously, um, I know he's going to switch out again because he's not going to switch into. Um, a potential earth power but you know spoilers my clay doll doesn't have earth power um, we do pack stealth rock rapid spin psychic and teleport and we are a physically defensive um, clay doll so we are going to go for the teleport predicting the switch which exactly what happens uh, brings in the glaceon right that's okay uh, I'll just teleport out and bring in my um, escavalier And uh, yeah, we um, we're going to Iron Head this uh, Glaceon. Um, my yeah, Scavalier is one of my favourite mons ever. Um, we are um, Assault Vest, which is classic set. We've um, Iron Head, Knock Off, Mega Horn, and Drill Run. So we're going to slap an Iron Head towards that Glaceon's way. No, we're going to knock it off actually. And well, I've just been played. <laughs> I totally forgot about Weather Ball, even though I just saw it a few moves ago. And um, well, I just got played. You know, touche asteroid, touche. I can't really complain because, you know, I just played you with my carbink. So, you know what? Yeah. We're even now. We're even. So, we're going to send out Beep Beep, which is um, Zapdos. 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 And uh, we'll just do that nickname again. Meep Meep. So, it's Roadrunner. So, we're going to thunderous kick this um, Glaceon. And, yeah, that's Glaceon down for you. So what mons has he got left? He's got the Nine Tails and the Inteleon left. I've got Zapdos, Blastoise, and uh, Claydol left. So we, you know, it's a, it's a decent battle of this. Carbink took out the big threats like Haxorus and Leafeon and did damage to Venusaur. That, 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 that was, you know, I think significant in this battle. You know, if I didn't take out that Haxorus, that would have been a major, major problem for me. So. I'm going to switch and uh, we're going to. Well, the correct play is to bring in Blastoise, for some, Blastoise but for some unknown reason I decided to bring in Claydol. Don't ask me why. This this game was recorded on Sunday. We are now into Thursday. I, I've got no answer. I can't actually remember why I bought in the Claydol when Blastoise is clearly the uh, better play. But oh well, I'm gonna have to sack off this um, clay doll now. So a bit of a, bit of a 
a bad play by me. But oh well. Uh, so finally we are going to bring in the Blastoise. This Blastoise is actually choice specs with uh, Hydro Pump, Dark Pulse, no not Hydro Pump, Surf, Ice Beam, Dark Pulse and Flip Turn. So we are going to go for the Dark Pulse because the sun is up and we can't go for water moves. Um, so yeah, we'll go see what Astro is going to do here. He's going to stay in because nine tail nine tails is not an option to switch in. So he goes for the air slash, which you know that's fine. Does not really do much to my blastoise, so I'm going to hit the dark pulse, and that does fair amount of damage. So I don't actually know if this is sniper or torrent. Um, if I hazard a guess, it probably is, is sniper. So it's going to switch out and bring in the nine tails. It probably knows I'm choice specs now, so he can bring in his nine tails pretty safely. And that does fair damage as well. So another dark pulse will um, take out his nine tails, and I really do think that um, Blastoise can clear up here. Yeah, I think it can. So he gets off the extra sensory, which you know that's okay. Um, but he gets the flinch, which just extends the inevitable. You know, just delaying the inevitable. You know, so. But you know what? We're we're, we're gonna we're gonna plod along, and um, we're gonna go for another dark pulse. Hopefully, it will not go for the um, extra sensory and get another flinch. Because that, that right now, that's the only thing you, you can count on, pretty much. It goes for the extra sensory again. And he does not get the finish this time, which is good. So the Dark Pulse is going to take out this Nine Tails, and all he's got left is the Intellion. And <laughs> we get a crit, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, in comes the Intellion. He's going to go for the Air Slash, and he really needs to take out this Blastoise, really. Because. If he doesn't take out this blast, if he takes out this blastoise, um, the air slash could beat my uh, Zapdos. So it actually goes right to the wire here. So we live on one health, and we get the dark bolts off, and that is GG's guys, and we are off the mark finally. Third time's a charm. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.